So public safety, a top priority for the city. This morning we're joined by the person who is leading the charge, former NYPD police chief and the senior advisor for recovery and safety planning for New York City, Terrence Monahan. So welcome back to the Pixar More News. Yeah. Good to see you. Good morning. Good morning, Dan. Good morning, Betty. How are you? So, Mr. Monahan, what a difference a week makes. I mean, you and I spoke about crime and gun violence last week on Picks on Politics. However, that was before this week's de series of deadly shootings. So, what are you seeing? Put it in perspective for us, right? Is New York safe right now? Yes, New York is safe. If we, again, you take a look at your numbers uh, with shootings, are we above 2019? Absolutely. We're well below where we were last year for the last couple of, like, last 28 days. We're close to 70 shootings down from where we were last year over the last 28 days. But a long way to go to get back to 2019. But uh, the NYPD is making a lot of changes, uh, a lot of great investigations going on, a lot of great cases going on. This violence is starting to get under control and will be under control. And it's going to take some time. And we'll need some help, but uh, I know the members of the NYPD can get those numbers back down to where they were, back under 800 shootings a year mm. in a city of eight-something million people. Yeah, well, the public, uh, you know, wants it to happen immediately, obviously, because of the safety factor here. Shots, in fact, were fired in Times Square on Wednesday in an apparent road rage dispute there. Business owners say the gun violence is hurting their bottom line because tourists are afraid to come to that area. So what's being done? What is your office doing to address these concerns? Well, Times Square is something that we have put a ton of resources into. Uh, over 100 additional cops on top of the 61 that are assigned there on a regular basis each and every day. We have Department of Homeless Services working out there every day. We have Department of Consumer and Worker Protection out there every day. And we have DOHMH uh, personnel working out there. And listen, anyone who does any sort of crime in, in Times Square with the amount of camera systems out there will be arrested immediately. Yeah. Like the individual who fired that shot the other day was arrested almost, uh, I believe, a day later after firing that shot. Yeah, I mean, look, you and I spoke, and the, the key thing that I said to you was perception is reality. Right. And New Yorkers, their perception, you can quote stats all day long, is the streets aren't safe, there's too many guns out there. What is your relationship, now that you're in this new position, with the mayor, and is the mayor backing up the fact that more cops are needed on the streets? Absolutely, 100%. It was the, right after that last shooting in Times Square, 100 additional police officers assigned into the Times Square area each and every day. That came directly from the mayor and Chief Rodney Harrison sitting down having that discussion. It is important as businesses, and some businesses are coming right back this week into Times Square, that they see these cops, that they see cops standing on every corner, that they have that feeling of safety coming in. Same thing we did with the subways, an additional 1,100 cops a day in the subway system for, doing, for dealing with 27, 30 crimes a week. But people need to see those cops on the system if they're coming back into the city. So we're putting a lot of resources. The city has dedicated mm -hmm. tons of resources to these neighborhoods, and we'll continue to do it because well, well, let's talk in specifically six to, weeks, Broadway reopens. I, I want to talk specifically about these different neighborhoods because we've been dealing with Times Square. Um, but you know, as we head into the weekend, what's the priority, in, the priority in terms of public safety, and and what specific locations or events throughout the city are you really focusing on? What's the strategy here? Well, again, the NYPD is the one that will come up, and they do it through their CompStat process. They are analyzing incidents that occur throughout, <clears throat> throughout the city. So Chief Harris and Chief LePetri will sit down, and they will deploy resources anywhere throughout the city that uh, there's been an uptick in this type of violence. But uh, as far as the business community, because there's two different things. You said it, perception and reality. There's the reality of gun violence throughout the city, gang violence, that we need to make sure uh, as a city we're putting resources at but just as importantly we need to have our business districts throughout the city have the coverages so people feel safe yeah. coming back into business doing business in the city yeah i mean it's 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 multifaceted right because you have what's going on in times square and they're flooding the area with cops in times square but you had six shootings last night in brooklyn yeah so people were saying what about my neighborhood i need i need police officers there as well is that the answer Listen, there are police officers working everywhere in the city. All you have to do is take a look at the amount of gun arrests that the NYPD is making on a regular basis. They are bringing in a lot of bad people. And uh, 
the coverage is throughout the city. I know uh, when I was in the department, I know they're doing it now. Mike LaPetri and Rodney would sit down every week and decide where to put extra resources, mm -hmm. where the violence is, whether it's in the Bronx with some gang violence going on with the teenagers, right. whether it's in Brooklyn. You know, this is what we do. This is what the NYPD does and has been doing ever since the right. inflammation of Comstock. All, All right. right, Terrence Monahan, we always enjoy having you here. Thanks for joining us again today. Always a pleasure.